Hello Leo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading and it will be for May 2021 for the sign of Leo. I hope you're well. Uh, remember Leo, these can just be messages and it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you as always. Okay, let's get straight into your, me your message. I'm going to pull a few Oracle cards and then we will clarify, then we will pull some Tarot cards as well. Okay, so what do we have for Leo, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Leos, thank you, for May 2021. What is the message from spirit? Okay, I've got three cards there. I kind of feel you do this, Leo, but maybe an opportunity to live life to the fullest and you're just being told to do that. Count your blessings. Now, there could be a reason to count your blessings this month. And we have Be Decisive. Okay, some lovely messages there. Okay, let's put those down. Next card. What do we have, please, Angel Spirits Guides for Leo for May 2021? What is the message from Spirit for Leo? Thank you. Oh, wow. I've got Receive. And you see, this person is being offered what looks like a divine gift. So we have received, you are a kind and loving soul who constantly reaches out and gives to others, but now it's time for you to learn how to graciously receive. Just as with the ebb and flow of the tides, the art of giving and receiving is the natural law and order of the universe. Lovely energy there, Leo. Okay. So next oracle card, what do we have for Leo? Thank you. So Leo, I have number 13, emotional challenges, resolve the issue. Now there may well be something that helps you resolve issues this month. Um, we have emotional challenges, resolve the issue. And final message for Leo before we go into the tarot cards. What do we have for our lovely Leos? Thank you. So we have Badger. Bring your life into balance. Archangels, Mary and Sandalphon. Okay, Leo, so those are the messages for you. So let's pull three cards and see what we get. The first card being the message from Spirit. So what do we have for Leo, please? Angels, Spirit's Guides. What is the message for Leo? Message from Spirit for Leo for May 2021, please. Angels, thank Spirit's Guides. Thank you. What is the message for Leo? Your card is out. Love that energy. It, it is Leo energy, the six of wands. I've pulled two, which is interesting. So we have the six of cups and temperance. And the knight of cups. Of the, I looked at the bottom of the deck here, Leo, and it's the Page of Swords. I'm going to clarify this Six of Wands. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Okay, Leo. So, there is somebody, and this is somebody from the past. I mean, there's an energy of the past coming back here in May 2021. And it feels to do with love, romance, relationships. Now, yes, the cups can also be to do with creative opportunity as well. So whatever resonates for you, um, you have finally risen above and mastered your emotions or have the opportunity to, um, it feels, I mean, the King of Cups is emotional, stable, emotionally balanced. Um, if it I'm getting in this energy, this person that you, that is coming back from the past, you have history with. And there was some kind of challenge, uh, you know, whatever this challenge was. 
but you put it behind you, you know, you put it behind you, moved on and feel pretty good in your own energy. Yeah, it feels like someone's going to come back and rake up those emotions. And that's why there is an energy to resolve it. It, it feels in this situation there's unfinished business here, Leo, whether you feel that or not. Um, yeah, I'm definitely getting this energy of somebody from the past. It, it feels like you were happy, moved on, put it behind you. Um, there was a completion and this is a card of victory, success, achievement in overcoming some kind of challenge and it takes a lot of strength and courage with the six of wands to overcome it but you did it you feel pretty good you're in your equilibrium you're in your balance here and then there's an energy of somebody from the past could be a Sagittarius we've got Scorpio and Pisces here as well um this can be a card of making peace reconciliation also the temperance card can be about getting balance back it feels in this situation somebody's coming in offering you something it feels to do with love romance relationships but like i said this could be if it's to do with work it could be creative opportunity something that's absolutely close to your heart it feels that they want to make peace i mean there's an opportunity to make peace here whether they're offering you love expressing their feelings there's definitely this energy here or they're offering you opportunity. There's definitely an energy of... It feels like there's unfinished business. And there was something that you put behind you. But they're coming back in to resolve the issue finally. And that's what I'm getting with this. To finally get balance back. To reconcile differences. But it feels like there's still feelings there for somebody. Knight of Cups is love, romance, relationships. And the Page of Swords is, it feels to do with news, information, data, learning something. There may well be some truth, something that they want to get off their chest, something that um, maybe there is, is, there is, they need to express things to you. It feels like unfinished business here, Leo, I have to say, in love, romance, relationships. Um... That you might learn something. I mean, there's, a, there's an energy of enlightenment. Somebody might want to say their piece to finally resolve an issue and make peace with the both of you. I feel in this energy, you know, whatever this six of wands was, you were like, thank goodness I'm putting that behind me and I'm moving on. So it, it feels like this energy that you were counting your blessings and this is a feel-good energy, the Six of Wands, living life to the fullest. It's a bring it on energy. I'm feeling good. You know, I've, I've conquered this emotional challenge that I've been through. But it feels like someone still has a truth to express. You might learn something, uh, be enlightened. Uh, maybe there's some information that they wanted to pass on to you or some explanation or express themselves in some way. I'm definitely getting this energy of whether it was finished for you or not, it feels like somebody else felt that there was unfinished business and they're coming back to make peace, to finally allow either, to finally bring balance between the both of you. And they may want to say some kind of truth here, Leo. So that's definitely what I'm feeling in this energy. It feels like a quite, it feels quite a powerful energy. You're being told to, to receive, consider this. But it feels like whatever this was, there were unresolved issues. And maybe somebody didn't express the whole picture, the whole truth, all their feelings. 
um, make you completely aware of how they were feeling. And it feels in this situation there was some kind of unfinished business that needs to be resolved here. So that's what I'm feeling for you, Leo. Okay, so final message for Leo, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Yeah, I love the peacock sign. We have number 38 because the peacock is all about abundance, not feeling lack, embracing abundance. It's very good in terms of money, career, business as well. It's a great sign. But we, it's a message of we are proud of you and aware of your achievements. Just a lovely, lovely energy. I'm going to pull one more. Interesting. We have talked to us. We are still listening, number 10. It's interesting because the 10 is that transmutable energy between endings and beginnings. It, it's, it feels in this situation there is someone wants to express their truth. You might learn something this month. It feels somebody from the past is coming back. And even though I'm getting this energy of you've moved on, Leo, and feel pretty good about it, there's an opportunity to get balance and make peace, finally between the two of you, with the potential of love um, being on the cards as well. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.